Fox host and 11-year NFL vet Ephraim Salam, Rock of Love bus star Brett Michaels, Yankees outfielder Nick Swisher, 10-year NBA veteran Katino Mobley, plus sports science host John Brankis takes us inside the show's new season, and Street Fighter star Neil McDonough. So call me, because Best Damn starts right now. Uh, coming up in a bit here on the Best Damn Sports Show period, we have got yet another edition of In Case You Missed It. Guess what? We're getting a little slap happy with this one. But first, the host of Sports Science on FSN, John Brankus, tells us why he wanted to turn into dog meat and get beat up by his guests on our network. That's next. The best athletes. All new experiments. More dangerous. Sports Science starts Sunday, March 22nd. And welcome inside the Shell Garage, where we are joined by the host of Sports Science right here on FSN, John Brakus. John, good to see you, man. How are you? Doing awesome. Thanks for having me on. Hey, it. I think you're the only show on our network that's ever won an Emmy. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not, I mean, like in the, what have we, yeah. how long have we been on? 13 years, yeah. guys, as a network Where's or something? The stats? One. I congratulations. Well, you Thank guys should try harder. And congratulations to you. I appreciate it. Fox Sports that other Emmy. Here for his two cents, is he? Uh, we have. I think so. Well, I, I think don't, so. I've never been told. Yeah. Certainly this show hasn't, <laughs> uh, with good reason. But congratulations on the success of the first season. Uh, season appreciate two is a, a little different because you get more involved in this one. Yeah, this season, um, one thing that really worked from season one is sort of seeing how the average person stacks up against the elite athletes of the world. So what we did is we sort of expanded my role and took on many more tests where I took on the greatest athletes on the planet to see how the average person would stack up. How'd you do? I, uh, I fared miserable in every case. <laughs> Speaking of athletes, uh, I heard you had a little something with uh, Chris Jenkins. And I, I've played against him. So, and that's full contact and, and the gear and all of that. I, I understand what type of ferocious animal he is. Um, how did it fare for you? Well, Chris Jenkins is uh, 6'6", 360, yeah. and about 5'8", 160. Well, you carry it well. <laughs> <laughs> Muscular build. I look good. You know, it's... So what we wanted to do... <laughs> <laughs> and roll the tape. Yeah. Oh! Well, I don't think you really need to say anything. Right. I think the uh, what ended up happening is we wanted to see what would happen if the average person just went toe-to-toe -to -toe against one of the NFL's best. So, uh... Getting obliterated was sort of my day at the office. Wow. And how did it feel at the end? It, uh, it was rough. I mean, it was honestly rough because we had no idea. I mean, I hadn't put on pads since high school. Right. And in high school, it wasn't like I'm all state. So I'm going up against an NFL just superstar, giant human being. And so when he lays into me, I haven't been hit in 20 years, and certainly not wow. by a guy who's 6'6". 360. Yeah. Well, Chris isn't the only athlete you work with. You also worked with Drew Brees, Jake Peavy, Larry Fitzgerald. So of all the athletes that you've worked with over the two seasons, who's your, who's your favorite to work with? Well, all the athletes that we have on the show, really, um, it, it's just been an amazing experience. They're all amazing. I mean, whether it's Drew Brees or Larry Fitzgerald or Ray Lewis, I mean, any time that you have an opportunity to teach one of the greatest athletes on the planet something new, that's a great day at the office. Well... You not only work with athletes, but you work with animals also. And uh, you had a little run-in with uh, an animal. How'd that go for you? Well, we had uh, we were testing the Mike Tyson ear bite incident. And what we wanted to do was figure out how hard does Mike Tyson actually bite. So to stack up his bite versus the other animals in the animal kingdom, what we did was we had an attack dog actually uh, attack me. So I wore a sensor under my arm. You're insane. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Did, I, what, I just wore a sensor under my arm and had uh, an attack dog attack me so that we could get an accurate reading as to how much force is being applied by an attack dog versus Mike Tyson. And Mike's like a little puppy compared to that <laughs> thing, right? It was tough. The dog fortunately didn't go for my ear. So he was just going for my arm. And it was, uh, you have to watch the show to find out how it stacks up. Did you up. have Mike bite you also? To <laughs> yeah. compare the, you have to, to compare, compare the two. Exactly. That would have been a good segment. We actually had a, a championship um, competitive eater 
go up against uh, representing humans. Oh. So we wanted to see, wow. well, Mike Tyson probably doesn't have the hardest bite on the planet, but maybe a competitive eater does. Right, right. Um, what, what's the one thing you wish you wouldn't have done to your body? Well, we, uh, the, one of the first experiments we did this year was going up against Fedor. And, Fedor uh, Emelianenko? Yeah. Oh, man. So we wanted oh. to see what it was like to be choked out by Fedor. Um, so Fedor wraps me up chokes me out and it was a it was a truly frightening experience but later on in uh when we we're shooting the episodes we had gina carano do the same thing and mm -hmm. that was a much more pleasant experience yeah nice. smelled better felt better <laughs> i kind of when i passed out i kind of just sort of wanted to stay there for a little bit just to catch my breath as shows we're always uh, looking to improve technologically uh what sort of advancement did you make this year what's new well, this year we actually used a system called FAB, um, which is which was really a motion, a markerless motion capture system, where we're able to marker up the greatest athletes and really get real data from real movement on the stage without using any kind of markers or cameras. Um, it was a real, real, true innovation in a TV this year. Very cool, uh, John Brankus. Thanks for dropping by. We appreciate. It. Once again, it is on? the second season of Sports Science. It debuts Sunday, March twenty second on FSN. <laughs> what? Needs to go on. I, I said, go "What are you going on?" Yeah, you need to go, go on there. there. You and me, toe to toe. <laughs> I've gone up against Chris Jenkins. I think he's a little bit bigger than you. you Any time you want to do it, I'm ready to go. I'm powerful. Contest. I'm very powerful. <laughs> That'll be nice. Oh, uh, one other quick reminder for you: make sure to check out your local Shell Oil retail store to find all the products featured here in the Shell Garage. And more importantly, take care of your car. Why, Carissa? Because Shell is... Made to move.